Hey, it's Dan Nickerson, and I've added a new benefit for Socrates Theme customers that I really think you're going to like. So most of you uh, have more than one domain, and you don't always need to install WordPress, if you, especially if you want to just make a quick one-page site or a landing page or a thank you page or a coming soon page. Well, why go to the bother of installing WordPress when you could just use a simple HTML template? Obviously, HTML templates were popular long before WordPress, and they're still very popular today. But just like anything else, you have to pay for it, and you have to look choose your design and so forth. You could pay for a monthly system so you can have really fancy pages or you can just use a template that's really basic and just get something up quickly. So what I've done is I've actually created that utility template that you can use on any of your sites to create a thank you page and landing page. Even if you're using WordPress you can still add this to a folder on your site for another purpose. And the cool thing about this is that it uses Socrates theme CSS and all the Socrates shortcode CSS so that you can use all of our buttons, all of our panels, all of our columns and everything right in the, the uh, HTML template. Pretty cool, huh? So let me just show you the page. So you can see it has a title here. This is a little headline, H2 headline font. There's some basic text in here. I'm using Roboto from Google Fonts for the font, which you can change in the CSS if you want to any other font. It's got a demo ghost button here, so you can see it inherits the CSS. It has any any of our button codes from the Socrates toolkit, we have a red large left, a blue medium center, a green huge right, you can use any of our colors. Uh, it also has columns, so you can do half column left, half column right, one third, one third, one third. You can also use one fourth and one fifth. Mm -hmm. And then for panels, we have blue panels, gray panels, green panels, yellow panels. And we also have block quote, so this is block quote inside of a white panel to give you a little testimonial feel to it. We also have Font Awesome icons, so you can use any Font Awesome icon that's available uh, with any different sizes as well. So you can do all kinds of different customizations like add a Font Awesome icon to a panel, whatever you want to do. Now this page is speed optimized, it's validated, and it's fully responsive. So I actually go up here, I'll just show you. Uh, like you see columns here, you see panels. If I actually close this window, you're going to see everything changes, right? So it's fully responsive. Pretty cool, huh? There's the whole thing, fully responsive. I'm gonna go back out. And uh, where was that? Where, where was I? And you can see this is our GT metric score. So to, to be fair, I calculated this before I added the performance score, obviously. Uh, so this is uh, 196 without this image added. I think it drops by like one percentage on the Y slow score because of an image. Uh, but uh, 196 loads in 0.6 seconds, 110K total size, and seven requests. Let me show you the source code of this page. So you can see it's very clean HTML. There's the title, there's your description, an author. Here's the style sheet, which I actually already compressed as well. So it's compressed code in here. You can compress it more if you're a fanatic about that. Uh, but we have your basic body layout. Uh, then this is your headline, H2 headline. Uh, this is your, your little text here. Here's the button as well. And here's the button code, the column code, the panel code, font and awesome code. Now, those of you that know HTML are thinking, oh, wow, this is super easy. I, I see how I can use this. But those of you that are only familiar with WordPress, first off, you don't have to use this. It's just a little extra benefit. However, I'm going to show you a trick so that you can sort of write HTML easily and use it in one of these templates. Once again, let's just say that you want a simple little page, you don't want to have a full on WordPress install. Well, you use your WordPress install to actually create the HTML. So here's how you would do that. So you go into a WordPress install. So I've got the toolkit plugin added here, right? And so I've just added a little page and I'm just gonna go in here and add in some lorem content, right? And then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna add, let's just say a blue panel right and then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna add a button a blue button will go large I'm gonna change this to a line center center like so and I can go in here and edit my text if I wanted to let's just say I want to bold something here I'm gonna bold this lorem ipsum and now I can just hit preview and when I do that it's gonna give me this page right here right you're gonna see the code and the text panel and the button if I view source I can then go down here and it's going to give me all the raw HTML code right in here. There it is. There's the lorem ipsum and there's the button and so forth. So if I copy this and then paste it into the raw HTML, which is in here, it's going to display just like it does in the source code here.
So that's a simple trick for kind of creating a web page using WordPress and then copying the HTML. Now, if you don't know what you're doing, it's right. I'm not going to say it's easy, but their learning curve is pretty pretty short. If you have an HTML HTML editor or Notepad plus plus, then you can easily just modify the template to be a simple landing page. I can't provide a lot of support to teach you HTML. There are a gazillion resources online to learn HTML if you don't know what I'm talking about. Once again, if you don't have a need for this, you don't need to use it, but it's an extra benefit for Socrates customers. So the zip file is available. Uh, there's just the index HTML file. There is a style sheet and there's two images that are in it. Oh, and also I added an HTML access file that has all of the compression and expire headers that you use to get the optimized code. So if you don't want the HT access file, you can remove it, but it's added in with the template so that it instantly makes the site better optimized. So I hope you like the HTML uh, utility page that I created. And uh, let me see what you create with it. And thanks for your time.